All right, what's going on? I just wanted to make a video and show some of the modifications that were done to um, my wife's tank. This is a Fluvo Evo 13.5 salt water setup. Um, it's been modded pretty extensively. Uh, we'll take a look at everything I did. It's only been running maybe uh, five, six weeks, something like that. But so far we've had good success with it, no problems, everything looks good. I just did my first water change on it. I waited a while for that. Let's take a look at it. Let's get into it. All right, the first thing you're gonna notice right here, and that's one of her mocha clouds. First thing you're gonna notice right there is that is a VCA random flow generator. It's specifically made for this tank. It's got a couple extra lock line pieces on it, but other than that, it's uh, stock straight from VCA. So these nozzles have like fins in them. I think they're 3D uh, printed or something. That's what they look to be. Um, but it puts a swirling effect. And like I said, this is made exactly for the Fluvo Evo 13.5. Let's go over here where there's some light. Let's see if you can see these fins. There we go. Okay, so that's what it is. The water comes through there and puts a swirling effect. Also, as it's coming through the back, it's open in these slots in the back. So as it's shooting through, it's also pulling water through with it. So these are available through uh, vividcreativeaquatics.com. And it's a pretty nice product. There you go. I haven't seen a video yet where anybody's actually captured the fins on the video so you can see what they are. All right, down here, it's kind of hard to see. Down here, you got the pump. That's been swapped out. I'll show you what we got. We are running the Cichet Synchro Silent 1.0. A lot of people are running the 0.5. I went 1.0, it does fit. And it moves a lot more water. This thing moves. What does it say right there? 251 gallons. So I think the, actually I'm not even gonna say cause I can't remember off the top of my head what the stock pump moves, but it ain't that. I know that for a fact. Uh, compared to this pump, the stock pump is very weak. Now you're not gonna be able to see this heater at all, but I'll put a, a link to it in the description. Same with the pump, I'll put links for everything. This heater was off of eBay, okay, or uh, excuse me, Amazon. I didn't like the way the fluval he heater fed in here. There wasn't a lot of room, okay? Some people say they could get it fit with no problem. Uh, that wasn't my case. So I went with a different heater. Uh, maybe I'll insert a picture of it or something. Alexa, turn on the swag lamp 100%. Okay. All right, the biggest difference is gonna be right here. And I've got the wiring right here, but you're still gonna be able to Nobody see it. To All right, so here's the back of it. I've got two in-tank chambers for chamber one and chamber two. I'm not using the foam at all, okay? So in chamber one, I've got filter floss, there's some sponge, and then I've got Fluval Biomax. In chamber two, I've got more filter floss, a carbon sack, a smaller carbon sack, and then marine pure one and a half inch ceramic bio balls. 
and I haven't had any problems with it so far. It's got a digital thermometer that works really well. I just did the water change, it's usually at about 78, so the water temperature didn't match perfectly, but no problems so far. Other than that, this thing looks great. I had to block off the window on the other side of the room. It was getting horrible glare. Uh, you can see there's a six line grass. There's a orchid dotty back. One of the mocha clowns. There's the other one. There's a shrimp in here somewhere. I can never find him, actually. Yeah. I saw his antennas on the other side. And there's also a firefish that is extremely shy. He likes to stick out at that far corner on the back end. Just dot his head out every now and then. That's it. Other than that, it's just uh, normal aragonite. A lot of, it's about 20 pounds of life rock, I think. Stock lighting. Um, the lighting I got on a timer, it's the Nikru that everybody seems to be using. Let me show you that. So this is the Nikru single channel timer. It's the one that does, like you can set it, it'll do like a dawn and the lights will phase in how you how you set them. And then same thing at night, they can dim the lights out for like a, a nighttime type deal. I've got mine at like 6.30, they come on at about 50%. By 7 a.m. they're at 100%. And then they stay at 100% till around 8 o'clock. And then they start dimming all the way down to uh, no light by 9 o'clock, I believe. Or 9.40 or 8.45, 9 o'clock, something like that. So, pretty cool little setup. Like I said, I'll put the links to everything that I'm using in this tank in the description. And uh, hit me back with any questions. Like, subscribe. I think we're going to start our own little fish channel here. I'm enjoying this hobby quite a bit. Those are cool little clowns. All right, everybody. Have a cool day. We'll talk to you later.